I've been doing a few shoots recently using a teleprompter I found on reallycheapteleprompter.com. It's a nice product, but part of the reason I didn't have to spend a lot to get it is it's basically just a holder for some equipment that I already own. So, what I do is use my iPad to display my scripts, and then I control them remotely with my iPhone. Here's a quick walkthrough on how I do that. The teleprompter app I use is called ProPrompter. It's compatible with both the iPad and the iPhone, and it's available on the App Store for about $10. Plus, you only have to buy it once since you can re-download for free on additional devices as long as you use the same Apple ID you bought it with. If you're working with Android or Blackberry, you'll have to find a good app you can use. Uh, but this video is going to focus on working specifically with ProPrompter. First, decide which two devices you want to use. It could be an iPad and an iPhone, two iPads, two iPhones, and so on, whatever you have. And then decide which device will be your display and which will be your remote. Like I said before, I like using my iPad as the display because it's bigger and easier to read. And then I use my iPhone as the remote. Whatever combination you go with, just make sure you have ProPrompter installed on both devices. Next, make sure both devices have Bluetooth enabled. Do this by going to the Settings app, then going to the General section, and finally going to the Bluetooth section. From here, make sure the on-off toggle next to Bluetooth is switched to the on setting. When it's enabled, you should see the Bluetooth logo in the top right hand corner of your screen next to the battery power meter. Again, make sure this is enabled on both your devices. When you're ready to go, make sure ProPrompter is open on both devices. Now, take the one you want to use as your display, or the one your towel will be reading, and place it in your teleprompter box. On the device you want to use as your remote, and only on that device, tap the remote icon at the bottom of the screen. Your remote will start searching for other nearby Pro prompters. Find the device you want to connect to on the list, and then tap on it to connect via Bluetooth. You should then see a list of all the scripts stored on both devices. You can access any of them at this point, regardless of whether it's stored on your display or your remote. So tap whichever script you want to run. Your script should show up on both screens and start scrolling, and your display will monitor whatever is happening on your remote. To control the script with your remote, Tap the screen once to pause, and once again to resume. Swipe upward on the screen to increase the scrolling speed, and swipe downward to slow it down. In both cases, keep in mind that swiping repeatedly will increase or decrease the speed incrementally, so experiment a bit to find out what's most comfortable for your talent. If you want to exit the script, quickly double tap the screen, or press the exit button on your remote. As far as getting your script ready to use, you can either type it up directly in ProPrompter, or you can prepare a file on your computer and then transfer it to your iPad or iPhone. I personally like doing this via email, it's just quick and easy. And then copy and paste it into ProPrompter. A really helpful feature you'll probably want to take advantage of is navigating with asterisks. If you can add an asterisk at the beginning of key paragraphs in your script, you can navigate between them instantly by tapping the left and right arrows on your remote. This allows you to go back and shoot another take on a particular segment rather than having to restart the entire script every time your talent makes a mistake. It's really pretty useful. So those are the basics, but keep in mind that this is a very versatile app with a lot of options and features that I'm not going to cover here. So be sure to explore and tweak with all the options until your teleprompter works just the way you want it. Again, that's ProPrompter, one word, available on the iTunes App Store. And this teleprompter is from reallycheapteleprompter.com. I hope this video has been helpful, and good luck with your productions.